Anasa friends. Today we are going to Bag Duna Jharna in Teknaf. So we can you can see that we are going and we have to get to it. This is not a familiar waterfall to all of us, but in those you can see those mountains. So in those hills is there a waterfall that is called Bag Duna. This spring is a little bit risky, but first I'll have breakfast because I'm really hungry. So let's eat breakfast. The breakfast was very enjoyable. So uh, you can see we had dal, shobji like vegetables in Bangla it's called shobji and roti. So the restaurant's name is Ibiza. It's a very um, strong and like I don't know what names. So I took some selfies. I don't know how it is. Rate it please in the comments. This is our tour gang. So these are our tour mates. So you can see. So you can see that this is the like where all of us we are going to like you could see we are going to a little path but this is actually a pathway to the spring so the spring is uh, I don't know how it is but let's go check it out so you can see it's very like you can see it's very green because uh, it's a rainy season but you can see the clouds are like it's a lucky day for us because there was no rain and no thunderstorms or black clouds so it was a very sunny and good day so that's why we headed aboard so I think you must be wondering that why so many people going like so in uh, like before some months so some months ago some abduction cases happened so if uh, we go alone for like for four to five people so like it's very risky that's why we took some uh, village polices and we have lots of people like uh, we have lo local people with us and some local boys and like everything and we are like 14 teammates that's why so you can see it's a very big team that's why we are safe or else it will be very risky that's why you should take lots of people when you go to the stream that's why it's not very famous and familiar with us and it's very dangerous so as you can see it's a very beautiful spring and you could see like sometimes it, it's mud and sometimes it muddy and it's sometimes it's rock like it's hard and then sometimes it muddy so you know it's a little different so like I prefer you to go with some plastic sandals because when you go like without barefoot you will get hurt by like lots of glasses and lots of things other things and there are lots of snails here you can see like so many things and you can see this is a very beautiful place so as you can see there's are tons of rocks everywhere so as you can see we cannot walk like normally like we do on the streets or anywhere so as you can see it's very difficult if you just trip over you'll get a lot of hurt because the stones are very hard so you have to cross the like you can see in Bangla it's called Jiripat so you can you can actually you need to cross the Jiripat before going to the spring so as you can see we have to cross the Jiripat like it's not any normal road and it's a very beautiful water flow you could you could see it's like so beautiful like uh, and it's the blue sky you can see like it's a very blue sky and you could see we have to cross it like over and over and yeah, many times so so you can see from the land it's like near about two kilometers kilometers so like we have to walk two kilometers to reach there so our local guide like our local police told us that don't go in the deep forest or like it could be dangerous or something like because many people died here and like got abducted so 
like the villagers don't go even the villagers don't go here so once like people were abducted even cows and goats were abducted i mean not abducted they stole it from their like so many things so as you can see and not only abducted like uh, the water flow is very deep in the deepest forest so like when you go there the water will just like turn you around and pull you over and you could tr get tripped by a rock or something so it's very dangerous that's why our village police didn't like told us not to go there so you can see like it's very like i mean there's no dirt or no like rubbish or garbage in here like everyone if we like sometimes like uh like no one comes here like even you can see some uh, boys come who came with us so they told us that they came here after four to five years so like that's why it's so beautiful you can see the water clearly but when you step on it the mud like uh when you step on underneath the water as you can see the water turns like muddy because uh, of the sand and mud mixed together so you can see and there's some quick sand in some points but you can see the green scenery is so cool and like you can see this is so cool you could just like walk around and do anything you want like yeah if it's safe you can do it the most important thing is that nobody is here like we're all alone like you can enjoy yourself so much that no human was here like it was like oh my god like we were only like here our team so you know the story behind the name Bagduna like the name of the spring so once uh, the villagers like told us that there were lots of tigers like Bag means tiger in Bangla so you can say that there are lots of tigers here even we saw some tiger like footprints in the spring like on the spring like small tigers but there were there is tigers on the mud we saw some uh, foot tall footprints on the on the mud like that it was scary but it was enjoyable like it was feeling so natural so When we were walking, a village police officer told us there was a footprint. We then headed to the footprint and we saw it. It is, uh, we luckily found it, that it's a footprint on the mud. Like, see, it may be the small tigers. There are t the tigers in here. Pathar gendu pes lah. Chala shan chala shan. Okay. 
so you can see the combination of blue skies and like white clouds and you can see the green natural like oh my god like omg it's so cool like i mean i have never seen so natural skies and like so natural green bushes everywhere like omg it's so cool and it's so beautiful and natural oh my god so we reached to the final spot but we couldn't go anymore because the water was very deep so like we was going and we saw that we had to swim around that canal but and we and the villagers and the local police don't know like they requested us to not cross the canal because they don't know or we don't know that what is behind the canal so we are we were a little afraid so that's why we didn't go but this was very cool we didn't see the full spring but we saw many more little springs that were more beautiful than the real spring like we don't see it but it was really beautiful the re little springs were beautiful so we enjoyed it it was so good as you can see the water is like dirty but it's not we're moving that's why like we are all moving that's why the mud is uh, coming up from the ground like our feet are moving like it's kind of like a bubble as you can see there's see now the water is a little clean because no one is going there that's why it's clean see so cool uh, please write the pictures in the comment section please and make sure that you like the video i hope so then the time comes for a sun bath like a proper bath for all of us because we didn't like a bath all along so we took this was like a jacuzzi or something they go so good you just have to lie down on the area where the water is coming from these are little springs so honestly it was so good so you have to lie down like me and then it will, you will feel the so good i mean like so good and so good it's so natural omg it's so cool so like when it comes this was so good like it was running water and everyone went crazy when they saw this running water so you can see what everyone is up to like everyone is like oh my god they're just enjoying life then we headed back to our base camp like not the base camp it's our land so we headed back it was so emotional to leave our uh, like spring behind little spring like it was so comfortable it was like a free massage or something like or free jacuzzi oh my god so yeah mm. Mm, what's it? So for our memories, we did some photo stations so we could just hold some memories on together. You could see these are all our teammates, like everyone. So you could see everyone in the pictures. So you can see we are already heading back. So our pilot Shahlam Uncle took this nap. You could see we are so little in the grasses. So thank you to Shahlam Uncle. He took this nap for us. So you could see we are up on our normal land. Like it was feeling so like I mean I was confused if uh, the spring was the normal land or this was the normal land. Like you will feel very tired after this. That's why we had some good lunch in beside the beach. You could see I'm eating my like everything. You have chicken, beef, I mean chicken, fish and like salads, dal, like it's a traditional food called dal and everyone like is eating on school benches. You can notice that. Then we had some lemonade, you can see. And I had some chocolate milkshake and some chocolate ice cream. You can see it's a Thank <laughs> you.
When we were uh, coming back from Tiknas, we had to need, we took a break and we uh, like visited this restaurant called Steamount. It was a, such a beautiful restaurant. You can f it's, it's in Patuartik. You can see everyone is so happy to take a break. Like you will feel very tired. Everyone is tired. That's why everyone is like sitting and like you can see we are all lazy now because not lazy we are all tired like you can see everyone is tired so this is the end so thank you everyone for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like and don't forget to hit the bell button and please rank our pictures from 1 to 10 okay i'll be back in the next video bye bye